the bucket and uh, use it as a magnet to pick up things. Um, this one's a little bit newer because they eliminated the tethered remote control. Everything is done well, actually on the back of this machine. This is a K25. This is a K25 shovel. Unfortunately, I had a chain that broke loose from the spin drive and I have to reattach the chain now on that, but this is what it is. It's a tethered, it's a tethered remote. Okay, it has a steering and the buttons and everything is on here with a tethered remote. And um, that's what that's what you get with the tethered remote. So it's an older, this was an older piece. Probably late 50s was this one. Where this one here is early 60s when they eliminated the tethered remote. Now, um, some of the artwork on these boxes. This is the beginning stuff. This was a simple artwork. So this is like your late 50s here was just a simple painting. But it got better as we rolled through the early 60s. Some of the artwork here is absolutely beautiful that's on this box. Beautiful artwork. And um, it's it's nice how they did that and how they actually showed the site and everything else. So what I got here is a Mac. This is a Mac dump truck. Most of their trucks... Their, their lift trucks, their trash trucks, their um, cement mixers are all based on this. On this particular model of Mac. And um, anyway, it, it looks like a Mac. It looks pretty good. You know what I mean? It's a little off from what a normal Mac would look like. But it looks good enough. And, and it's, a heavy, it's a heavy piece of equipment. And it goes good. It's perfect for these cranes. Strings and shovels, it's a perfect piece. Anyway, I hope I get this lined up right. Let's see if I can push it out a little bit. Uh, what this does here is I have controls up here. I have two buttons. The buttons will do the lift up and down. There's a left and right control which spins the whole unit. Now down here, there's a little switch from this side here. And if you can see it, let me see if I can flip it, flip it up a little about damage anything. This is a transmission switch. So this goes from everything that runs the boom and the, the bucket and everything goes to the tracks. You still can swing it, but then you now you can move the machine back and forth freely. The tracks on this is very weak. There, um, it will move, but it does have metal tighteners. I have to cut the track down to tighten it up. To get it to work better, but uh, let's let's fire it up. I'm going to show you all how everything works on this thing. All right, we're going to start it over. I want to make sure I can get, make sure I get the bucket lined up. This truck pretty far out, so I'm going to move it forward here. And what we're using for our stuff to fill the truck, we're just using peanuts. Um, I don't know if it actually pick up dirt or anything like that. I would probably find something like uh, like marbles or little little um, maybe like some of the thicker stuff they use in fish tanks, a thicker stone. That stuff would work pretty good probably for picking it up. But um, let's show you how it works. Okay. Now we're gonna rotate it over. We're gonna go to our, our sand pile, our peanut pile. Okay, that's the left. That's the left and right. You swing left and right. A little red light comes on. This one runs really smooth. Very smooth. It's just a little off awesome piece. And we run it back. Okay, now we're going to line ourselves up over the penis. And like I said, this, this is yeah, incredible how it works. Just like, just like a real machine. So I put it up over there. I'm going to use the button. I'm going to start lowering the bucket. The clamshell. Oh, that's up. So we're going to take it down. Now, as you take it down here, this here is the magnet. Down here is a metal plate. So, that metal plate, and once I get that, the bucket down into the pile here, that metal, that magnet will lower down and snap that yellow plate, the metal plate, and um, it'll grab it. If it hits it right, it'll offset. I got it. I got nothing. <laughs> It's the material we use when you use peanuts, so I gotta stack it up again and 
Let's see what we got here. And now it lowers down. Bam. Now I got a hold of it. And I'm going to pull it up. And I got some peanuts. Alright. Lift it up there. Now I'm going to swing it over. Just, just like the regular construction site loader. And put it over here. And we're going to lift it up high. And then when it goes up top, it has, it'll tent, it'll tighten, this will hit the top. And that'll cause that to release. The magnet pulls loose and release and drops the peanuts in the back of the truck. So, here we go. Take it around. Ooh, I crushed it down. You made a liar out of me. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it really killed those peanuts. <laughs> so, so, go back over. That one stuck on the second one of the pins of the blade there, but... Like I said, we're using peanuts. That's all I got right now. I'm go down and pick up another load here. Ah, you wouldn't release that time. You know what? I should chop the peanuts up a little better, but I didn't. So let's try it again. It's almost like playing uh, the crane game down at the now for sure, we try to win those prizes. There you go, I got a couple that time. Let's swing it back over again. Hey, pretty fast. I'm <laughs> pretty impressed how fast it is. And, ah, come on. I suck as an operator. I'm a dump truck driver. I ain't an operator, so that's what I do for a living. And, ah, uh, and there it goes. Just spit it out. I'm good to go. Now, I want this thing to move. Okay. Going back to the transmission back here, I'll click it up. Okay, that's the switch you heard. Now, this buttons here are the ones that move it. You still can move it. Ah, oh, wait. If this moves it, okay. Like I said, uh, I need to tighten the tracks up on it. I'm just putting a little pressure on it. And that's what will move it. Like I said, the tracks are pretty flimsy right now. They have repo tracks, but their the repo tracks are not that great. But you still can... Lift it up and down as you move it. Now, we want to remove this bucket here. There's a little switch here. Pull back on it. And now you take the bucket off. Now you have a crane. Now, let's just see. Let's see if it'll pick that. It should be able to pick that up. I'm going to pick the bucket up. And then move it back here. And we'll switch transmission back again. Down it goes. Pick it up. All right. Let's pick it up. Ah! Didn't have enough bite on it. Ah! I might not be able to pick it up. Not enough bait on it. Let's see. That's what it is. It doesn't have enough bite. We go right there with it. You need something flat, like flat metal or whatever, to get a nice bite on it. She can't pick it up. So without a, without enough surface, there's not enough surface on this bucket to pick it up. But um, and I'll try this here. One last try. Nah, she doesn't have enough surface. You know, I don't know exactly what the weight is. What it can pick it up. I haven't really messed with it that much to, you know, see about what the weight is. When I had this one, I had a problem with the boom. I had to do a lot of repair work just to get the boom straight. It still sits a little crooked. A little bit, yeah, but it, but it, just push it down and she's fine. Other than that, this is what it, you know, this is what you get. Yeah, this is what, this is, these toys here are just awesome. 
I mean, I'm just, I just love how everything works with them. And uh, we'll pull the truck back here. The truck itself is friction. So pull that back. And this has an, this has a regular TikTok type of um, lift to it. So. And that's what it does. And you push it back down and it locks back in. And that's it. It is a nice dump truck. It's got friction, friction powered. But, um, yeah, it's pretty good for a dump truck. Everything matches good. The boxes are awesome. This, I'm going to get this fixed. I got to work on it. You got to see how this thing works. It works like a true steam shovel. I kind of like this better than this crane. I love how this works. Better than this crane. But, other than that, this is, uh, this is everything that I have. I got, uh, you know, for out for now. I have a few more pieces I, you know, I got to show you. I'm picking up pieces every day. And, um, I'm going to go through some stuff. But, uh, this is, uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. This is what I like doing. I like to tell people about toys. Uh, well, like I said, we're going to have...